Welcome back to uh, the Toyota 5L from Hell. So, in the last couple of videos, I bung the crankshaft in. After having fun, bunging the crankshaft in. And what we're going to do now is remove the cat's hairs. And I'm going to check the ring gaps. Yeah, these are Japanese, according to the box, and it is rather nice of them to have marked each ring in a different coloured bag with their positions. So what we're going to do is take an oil ring, a second ring, and a top ring, and a piston, and we're going to set them in the bore, and we're going to see what the gaps measure. So. Top ring there, the second ring there, and the oil ring. Now then, the oil rings aren't marked, so we'll just gently ease it lightly into the bore. The second ring is marked 2T on the top. And then we're going to mark, we're going to mark, we're going to set that, oops, and just it lightly into the bore. It, has, it follows that the top ring is also going to be marked, 1T. So we will just, oops, <laughs> got a bit more spring, got a bit more spring in this one. Right, there he is. Right, now, although I've got brand new liners in here, they should be concentric all the way down. Uh, the way to measure a ring is to set it just below its sweep. So, use your piston and just set the ring down in the bore. Da -da -da. And just for shits and giggles, here's one of the rings I took out. Uh, if you look back through my older videos, you would have saw me rolling around on the floor, literally cacking myself with laughter when I measured these rings. But I know what YouTube's like. Although I've got like 10,000 videos, people might only ever watch one and that'll be the end of it. So you've most likely missed that shits and giggles video. So we'll just go through it again. Right. I have completely, <laughs> I can see difference. I can see differences in the ring gaps already. I've completely forgotten what clearance should be, so. Let's go and consult my online free manual, which says the maximum is down there. Right, ring gaps are, now because it's a free manual, they've put a watermark all the way across it, so I don't know what the gap on the first ring is supposed to be, because it says blah, 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 blah. But the second gap says 0.47 to 0.72 millimeters, and the oil ring can be 0.2 to 0.5. So if we said 0.5 to 0.7 and 0.2 to 0.5, right? Start with the oil ring. which is 8,000 and uh, 0.5 which is bigger than 8,000 right I don't know if you can see that but uh, 0.2 fits in there easy so we'll go up to 0.3 
0.3 is slightly tight so we can go 0.33 right 0.33 so it's within spec could have done with being a bit tighter Next one we said was 0.4. Now I haven't got anything big enough for that, so I'm going to have to go to the spark plug end. Uh, <laughs> I can't read. I can't read half of the millimetre ones. Uh, 17,000, 0.3, point, sorry, 0.43 and then 0.45. So that falls in there. 0.7 was the top end of the scale. And there we go, 711. 28,000. Oh, now that's not good. That's not good because we got. We got that in there, right? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 millimeters is 32,000. Now we got that in there as well. So this is not looking good, is it really? I'm going to have to double check what I'm doing to make sure that I am doing it right. Point, uh, point 0.7. Why does it say 0.8? 0.6, 0.7. Well, let's get 28. Oh, there's, there's 32. There you go, right. there. Oh, no, there's one more. One more! Give me... Give me the last chance! 35, which is 889, that's 0.9. No, we're still loose. Right, let's go for the top ring. Top ring's definitely less. Point five. Oh, that's snug, isn't it? Right, he's a little bit more than that, so... Twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-five, uh, let's go for point, point six of a millimetre. And that is it. Right, point six. For some reason, the second ring's quite huge. Right. Go into this just for shits and giggles. He says, long silences. While well, he tries to poke around in there. There you go. That is loose. You can see that rocking around side to side. That one is actually uh, 0 0.9, uh, 1.7. That is nearly 1.8 millimeters, people. 1.8. Let's double check. I never was a rocket engineer, scientist even. Uh, 1.46 according to that. 1.46. So, let's go back and look at the book. So the book says the maximum that the number two ring could have been was 1.42. Well, I got 1.46 plus, so that ring was shagged. Number one ring, I can't see. Can't see the reading for it. 
but we're going to have to take it as uh, okay. Right, so number two ring, 0.72 to 0.47 to 0.72. 0.47 to 0.72. to 0.89, didn't we? We did. According to that, my second ring is out of spec. Now, I can't make the second ring any bigger. But we'll check another one. 